Hi, everybody. So I wanted to talk for a moment a little bit about the practical side of creating annotations. Um, so I have made a template that you can use from a Word doc. Um, you're more than welcome to use that. If you want to do this on your own, you're also welcome to do that. Um, I recommend using a Microsoft Word document to do your annotations because you can still submit that electronically and um, you don't have to do a printout, but it tends to save things in a format that's easier for another person to read than some of the annotation uh, plugins do. So what you can do to annotate this article, um, since this is an article that is from a website, um, you can pull up the article. In this case, this is the one that we're working with, but this works for any time you need to do annotation. Pull up the article you're looking for and just go ahead and control a, so control A to highlight the whole thing and then put it into a Word document. Just open a Word document or a Google Docs. Google Docs works just as well and put it in there. So I'm going to be including this template for you. So you're more than welcome to use this. Um, what I have here is just the article. Um, I took out the pictures because I didn't think that you necessarily needed that. And then I went through and I made sure um, that I had the author and that I had the, I had the author and I had the title in here. Um, just so that, and, and I didn't include this chart, just so that you can make comments on the article, because that's essentially all that annotating is. Another thing I've done is, I don't know if you noticed, but down here um, on the original article itself, there is an option to get a transcript of the video. Um, so as you're watching the video, um, you can certainly do that, but you can also read what the video says because I downloaded the available transcript right here and I put that right into this document so that you can make comments. It'll make life easier for you making comments as you're listening to the video as well. Um, so this is the article in its entirety. Um, and then to create your annotations, I think one of the easiest things to do um, is to add in comments. And one reason I made this video was in case you aren't familiar with this, um, what you can do is highlight whatever it is you want to say. Um, so let's say you want to explain what Lumen is. Maybe you Googled that as part of your annotations. You were like, I don't know what Lumen is. Is it, a, a, you know, is it an organization? Is it an edu educational foundation? Is it a person? Um, so let's say that you did that and you want to include an annotation about that because Remember that annotation is basically you going through and adding in definitions for words you don't know, adding in comments to statements that give you some kind of reaction, um, adding in questions when you have a moment where you're not sure where something is going. Um, anytime you have a reaction, you, that's what you're including in an annotation. It is a way to stay engaged with the text. So what I'm gonna do here is let's say that I was like, well, I'm curious about what Lumen is. In order to add a comment, I'm going to highlight what I want to comment on. I'm going to go to review. I'm going to choose new comment and it pops up right over here. And then I'm going to say, Lumen is da -da 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 -da. whatever you want to do with that. Um, you could also, if you um, aren't feeling super comfortable with the comments, you can also just write in this in a different font. I don't actually know. I didn't do this, but let's say you looked it up and it's a company that uh, whatever it is you want to say about it, you can just add in your own thoughts in a different font color. I'm not necessarily looking for a particular formatting to annotation, but what I am looking for is quality annotations. So introspective, good thoughts and a lot of them to really show that you're engaging with this text. Um, so, you know, you could say like, as a college student, let's say you want to make a note like, oh, this is relatable because you are also a college student. You can say things like, I agree. These are just moments that you're having where you're engaging with the text. Um, so that's how you can add comments in. And like I said, I'm going to include a copy of this for you so you can download this template um, and use this as the basis and add your own comments onto this document. And that's what I would recommend doing for this annotation assignment.